Welcome back. So after leaving the big cigar, it was close to lunchtime. So I decided to go get lunch from a bakery fairly close by and go check out another big thing in that area that I'd recently heard of, which is the site of the world's tallest tree. Now straight away, I'm fairly skeptical as it's only the site of the tree rather than the tree itself. So I'm expecting some sort of massive stump like the one that was over near Tarabolga National Park uh, that I stopped at just before running over the snake pretty much. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop it up the top and in the description box below for you to check out later or pause now. Go check out at the top. I'll wait. We can uh, just wait here while you go check that video and uh, come back. So before we get there though, it's time for some lunch. Now everyone has their specific go-to item when they visit a bakery. For a lot of people, for some reason, it seems to be a vanilla slice. Now I'm not that much of a snot block connoisseur, so I'll have to leave that to someone else's judgment from this bakery. But the Thorpedale Bakery does a very good chunky beef pepper pie and iced apple cakes, uh, which is my go-to. They also tick a lot of boxes uh, for other excellent pastries as well. Uh, so let's park this bike, get in there and get some lunch. And I uh, shall pull up at the front. Okay, so the bakery had a few things, so I've got some things to take home. Pepper beef pie. And if you haven't seen one before, iced apple cake. Not some little tall thing with a little dollop of the, the white icing, but proper stewed apple, sticky icing on top. And then sticky bun to take home. Not for me. And apple danish to take home as well. So they've got a bit of variety. If you come here on a weekend, they do sell out pretty quickly because it's a pretty popular place. It's like, um, I think 12 Ks to Traff, so if you come from Melbourne, just hang a ride at Traff and then head out this way. And you'll get to see all this stuff up in the hills. Magpies. All right, so let's see if it's chunky beef. Chunky beef and tastes like pepper. Are we gonna have a problem, are we? We got rope stuck to you. We got. Oh, it's actually got its feet tied together. See if I can grab the camera. So its feet are actually tied together with a rope. I'm not too sure why that is because it's actually a young magpie. So we need to be close up. See, it's all tied together. Might have to look into that one. Find out what's going on. Okay, so just a quick little update about that bird. I tried to catch it after lunch, but it could still fly. Couldn't get anywhere near it. Uh, it just kept hanging around, just wanting food. Uh, but I did call Wildlife Victoria. Um, I'll put their little reference number at the top here. And uh, they were sending someone out with some nets to try and catch it and try and untangle uh, the twine that's got wrapped around its feet. Unfortunately, it's um, pretty common for people to actually tie the legs together. And what they do is they put some weight on it and try and keep the bird in their backyard as actual pets. 
until they get tame enough to um just hang around because uh, that was a that was a juvenile magpie and yeah unfortunately it's a common practice and wildlife victoria are actually trying to stamp that out but yeah that bird was fine um apart from obviously having its legs tied like that but could still eat could still fly and yeah they captured it and um hopefully set it all free and they're taking the piss it's just a pole Okay. Well, it's not worthwhile getting the big camera out, but let's see what this has to say. All right, the world's tallest tree, 375 feet or 114.3 meters. If the tree grew here at this monument and was felled easterly along the road, the top of the tree would be at the white post near the fence on the south side of the road. Please take a walk to the white post. You will not believe how you will not believe a tree could be so tall. Well, I can, but let's have a look at what this other signpost says first. This mountain ash, what mountain ash? This mountain ash grew about 160 meters south from here. All right, so it's not even here, it's like, well, south from here or south? Because easterly is to the left. So that's easterly. And south is like that way. Because it's private property, I suppose. You can't go in there. Oh, uh, it's frustrating. All right, we'll go back to it. Grew about 160 meters south from here on Mr. Bill Cornwaite's property, felled by him in 1884 and officially measured by his brother George, a government surveyor, of course. Oh, I might as well have been a thousand metres high then. <laughs> this plaque and adjacent post erected as a rotary project for the Thorpedale Centenary, March 1976. All right, a couple of problems. There's no proof here that the tree ever existed. Um, 114.3 metres. I believe there's California redwoods that are like 120 metres tall now. So no longer the world's tallest tree if it existed. And secondly, it's measured by his brother. doesn't matter if he's a government surveyor or not. Um, yeah, got someone in the family. How about someone independent to measure it? Uh, all right. Well, let's go see how far this white post is. So there's the bike. We'll walk up to this white post. Might just fast forward this bit, otherwise it's gonna take forever. All right, so we are at the white post and there's the motorbike. So if this tree did exist, yeah, it's a massive tree. So we've got a big sign that says the world's tallest tree and no tree. We have a signpost here stating that the tree was measured by some guy and his brother who apparently worked for the government. So first of all, how about we get it, someone independent to measure it if the tree did exist. And secondly, it's not like the government to lie about anything. And thirdly, this isn't the site. The site's in there somewhere. So are we just going around randomly putting things up by hearsay now, are we? Might have to look into this because I want to see some pictures. It's a bit like anything. So if you don't take a photo, it never happened. One thing I need to put into perspective, right, this is 1884. It would be a whole much easier to believe if it wasn't his brother who officially measured it. I'd like to believe it's a site for the world's tallest tree, but might need a bit more proof about that because uh, all we've got to go by at the moment is some plaque and a metal pole that says the world's tallest tree, but there's no tree. Yeah, 
Well, hence why this one doesn't exist on the big thing list. Because it doesn't exist. All right, so if you were to come out this way, I suggest, yeah, stop on by, seeing the big cigar. Definitely go into the Thorpedale Bakery, but I don't know. Give this one a miss. This one's not ticking any boxes.